The sprinkler system is damaged, allowing air pressure to escape from the opening. Air pressure reduces in the system piping and on the pneumatic actuator. The pneumatic actuator opens. Some priming water discharges from the pneumatic actuator. The low air pressure switch activates, sending a signal to the release control panel. Alarms sound at the release control panel. Once the signal is received from the low air pressure switch, the panel powers the normally open solenoid valve closed before the pneumatic actuator. The powered closed solenoid valve stops water from exiting the priming chamber. The flow control valve, if partially opened, will close. The flow control valve remains in a closed position until a fire is detected or if the system is reset.